Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a hot minute. I know the last time you saw me was live on Saturday doing the $1 OPO six packs. Fun times. But as I have seen, and as you can see in the title, all of my manga rare cards have returned from PSA. Now, if you don't remember previous video, I sent all of my BGS 9.5 slabs to PSA. Slabbed, I didn't crack them. I sl sent them slabs because I don't like cracking slabs. No reason in particular, but they've come back. So let's see what grades we got. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully y'all are having an absolutely wonderful, beautiful, and an amazing day. Now, before we get into the video, ladies and gentlemen, I did want to give you all a quick overview of what the previous grades were, what happened, my experience with it. So you kind of get an idea. Now, there's obviously, these are all 9.5s, okay? Every single one of these were 9.5s. I said, I want a min grade of a 10 for PSA. So I sent it to my, I went to my LCS, dropped off on my 9.5s and told them, hey, minimum grade 10 or else don't crack it, right? So that's how PSA does it. That's how other companies do it to my understanding. But I sent them my slabs, the Manga Luffy, which got a 9.5, right? So nine on centering. You can't see it because my face is there. 10 on edges, 9.5 on surface, 10, 9.5 on corners, 10, 10 on surface. My Manga Law, 9.5 on centering, 9 edges, corners, 10, surface, 10. And then my arguably probably the worst grades um, from every, all of them so far, my Soga King, which was a 9 on centering, 9.5 on edges, 10 on corners, 9.5 on surface. So they only had one 10 on the Soga King, okay? And if we look down, my Ace had 9.5s on everything except on edges, right? So that was a very good card. Um, my Shanks, 9.5s on centering and 9.5 on surface, 10 on edges, 10 on corners, okay? And then my Sabo, 9.5s on everything except corners that got a 10. So I sent all my cards in to get graded. Here's what the grades were. First one, I'll keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, I did get upcharged. So I do know the grades already, but I want to let y'all see them one by one to get an idea as we're going through them together, okay? Now, first things first, ladies and gentlemen, as you guys remember, the Sabo got a 9.5 on centering, 9.5 on edges, 10 on corners, and a 9.5 on surface. And PSA ultimately decided to give it a 10. <laughs> now, you might notice something. I didn't realize that this was in Japanese. Did y'all? I had no idea. PSA gave it a gem mint 10, but those idiots uh, said this is a manga alt art from One Piece Japan. So they mislabeled my gem mint 10 for Sabo, which is great. <laughs> but three 9.5s and one 10 gave this a 10. Now the other one, there's actually two more, is in fact the Ace. So the Manga Ace, which had three 9.5s, 9.5 on centering, 9.5 on corners, 9.5 on surface, and a 10 on edges, they gave this a gem mint 10. So my Ace ended up, up going up to a 10. They had to upcharge me on this one. And then, of course, the final one I did get a 10 on was actually the freaking Soga King. <laughs> Such freaking scammers, dude. So realistically speaking, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to be very, very clear to you. This is the one card I genuinely did not expect to gem, right? That I was thinking to myself, there's no way they're going to give this one a 10 because BGS is very like strict to an extent. And they gave this a nine on centering, 9.5 on edges, 9.5 on surface and 10 on corners. So this is the only card from BGS that only had one 10. Every other card, um, well, b except the Ace and the Sabo who had 9.5 and everything except 10, had uh, 10s on them. So the Soga King had the worst grade out of all of them. So if you think about it, once again, nine on centering they gave it, 9.5 on edges, 9.5 on surface, and 10 on corners. So they gave this bad boy a 10. So in total, these three cards were given gem mint 10s from the 9.5s. Now, Obviously, I'm a little salty about this because this is not in Japanese. Other than that, three tens. I'm really happy about that. I don't know what to do with this now. Like, I'm keeping it, obviously, but like, can, can PSA relabel it? I don't know. We'll see. Now, the ones that they did not give a 10 on, which I'll be very surprised. This is the one I'm super surprised about is my Manga Shanks. Now, Shanks has, according to BGS, 9.5 on centering, 9.5 on surface, and 10 on edges and 10 on corners. And this is the label they gave me. They said, of course, uh, 
they gave it a min grade of that i guess i'm assuming a nine as do not holder it because i said if it's not a 10 don't free slab it but this is the slab they gave at least they labeled it correctly it's english not japanese but they gave this a 9.5 and stick stuck to it my manga law 10 on corner sound surface 9.5 on centering and 9 on edges um i guess maybe the edges here but even then i think that yeah i don't know the ones that could have 10 like I said, it doesn't make sense. Like I said, this is, it just all doesn't make sense. And then, of course, my manga Luffy, which had a 9 on centering, 10 on edges, 9.5 on corners, and 10 on surface. If you look at the Ace, no, let's, if you look at the Soga King, the Soga King had a 9 on centering, okay? 9.5 on edges, which this has a 10. It had a 9, Soga King had a 10 on corners, which this one has a 9.5 on corners, and it had a 9.5 on surface, but this manga Luffy has a 10 on surface. So, Basically, the three cards that like I was genuinely hoping for tens, the obviously the big one being Manga Luffy, and these two because I thought they really had a good chance. They chose not to ten, but they chose to ten these three bad boys here. Now, in my opinion, I could be wrong, but I think that because I sent in six slabs, they just decided, you know what, we're just gonna give him three tens in the lowest value mangas and keep the highest value mangas just the way they are. <laughs> Because I, I shipped them, I sent them, and I, I'm like, in my head, I'm, you know, I'm kind, of, I'm kind of a little negative about it. It's funny how, like, the worst card got a 10, and they un, they messed up the label on my Sabo, which Sabo, I understand getting a 10, because it got 9.5s and everything in the Ace, so they were consistent with these. They both got, they both had three 9.5s and two 10s, and one 10 each, and they both gave them a gem and 10. But this outlier here just ruins these for me making me think that these all should have probably tend in all honesty so i haven't done it yet ladies and gentlemen but i am going to be doing it for the next video but i'm going to i'm not going to crack them i'm not going to crack them but i'm going to have like my lcs i'm going to drop these off they're going to crack them for me because <laughs> i can't crack slabs i refuse to crack slabs bgs slabs any slab you know just for personal reasons But I'm not going to crack them. I'm going to have them crack and then I'm, I'm going to send them over to PSA and see what grades they get. Now, chances are PSA can give me a nine on them. So I'm a little worried about that. But it's just like I said before, like I'm a bit negative about it because I really think that a couple of these probably should have gemmed as well. But PSA being PSA, they just didn't want to give the tens to high value cards like this, especially if they've already been slabbed. But I feel like they felt bad, so they just gave me tens on these. <laughs> so I don't know. Let me know down in the comments, ladies and gentlemen, what y'all th was y'all's thoughts are on this one because, like I said before, the worst one got a gem and ten, and the best one did not, and the second best one, in my opinion, and the third best one also did not as well. So, on the ace was a nice change though. The ace was a good change to get a ten, but. I really think that they're being a little stingy or picky on the ones uh and they they i feel like they actively chose like, we'll give them three tens and three not tens and they chose the ones that probably are the lowest value uh in my opinion but that's just what i'm thinking obviously so i'm gonna crack these resend them i don't know when i'll do it but i'll do it at some point in time so ladies and gentlemen if you did enjoy the video let me know down in the comments um what are your thoughts on this because i'm a little skeptical about it because at the same time i'm just like how did the usopp get a 10 and these other cards did not get a 10 when they clearly had better grades and subgrades, maybe other than like one or two areas here and there. But I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I'm super excited to kind of try this out again, maybe get these recracked and sent over to hopefully get 10s. And if not, crack it back and send to BGS. So it's always a cycle of grading, ladies and gentlemen, to get the grade you want, I guess. But I appreciate every single one of you. I constantly appreciate the support, the messages, the likes, subscriptions that y'all are doing. Um, the One Piece channel is consistently growing. So I really want to give a huge shout out to everyone who's a part of the community here, who joins in uh, on the videos and, you know, joins the Discord to play the games once in a while as well. I want to say thank you. Thank you so much. Um, but hey, have a great rest of y'all's day. Have a great rest of your week. And come on, you gutters. We have one week to beat Byron at the Allianz. That was random. Have a great rest of y'all's day.